thanks for watching another video of mine. This is one that I didn't think I was gonna do, um, but I'm 100% that person. I ordered this box of, I think they're rare Japanese items. To be honest, it's been a couple weeks. The box just got kind of mixed in with all of our Christmas stuff and our presents and just all of that stuff. So yeah, I ordered a box of rare Japanese Sonic items and then I kind of forgot I had it and now I decided might as well do an unboxing video. So that's what we'll do. Sorry, my basement is a complete disaster zone right now. We're putting away all of our Christmas stuff and I'm kind of rearranging everything that's going on behind me. So let's get started with opening up this box. To be honest, I don't remember. It sounds so bad. I don't remember what is even in here other than I know it's a mixture of rare Japanese items. So, oh wow, right off the bat. Okay, cool. Wow, okay, so everything is individually wrapped in here. So that makes it pretty nice. So, this Sonic baseball cap with the tag still on it. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Okay. So yeah, it's got um, Sonic's face on it. It still has the, the tags. It's definitely Japanese because I cannot read it. It just says New Hatton, New Fashions of New York. So it's it does have a Sega tag on it though. So it's gotta be licensed if it's got a Sega tag on it. So that's pretty sweet. I don't have many Sonic hats to tell you the truth. Then, wow, the Sonic postcard with really cool artwork on it that I actually have never seen. He's got, it doesn't, I mean, I guess that's headphones or some type of weird headband. This is the back. It's Sega Saturn from 91. It says, this is cool. Sonic is back to Sega Saturn. It's a postcard from Japan. That's a really cool, unique item. I'm gonna have to look more into that one. That one's awesome. Let's see what's next. Everything, like I said, is indiv like individually wrapped, so. Bear with me. This is some type of tin. Oh, it's from Joypolis, which my brother and I are planning a Japan trip next year. We've been wanting to go since before COVID, but obviously that got ruined. So this is from Tokyo Joypolis. It's a tin um, that at one point held chocolate crunch candy, but now it's entirely clean. Wish it still had the candy in it. I love collecting food items. But hey, this is still considered a food item. It, it held food at one point. So that's awesome. Love the artwork on it. Next. This is, this is a lot of stuff wrapped in one. It looks like they all go together though. I'm just gonna set this down. Um... Oh, cool. So this is a, it's plastic. It's the Sega Sonic, which I don't know a, a lot about this brand. I know it's from the nineties and um, Japanese obviously, but I know it always like has the most random phrases. Like I have a couple um, Sega Sonic, like little tins and I think a pencil case. And it just has the most random phrases like, this says Planet Power on it. Planet Power merchandise. It just feature, features the his eyes and his, like a thumbs up on this one. I'm not really sure what this is. I think I'm gonna leave this in the plastic for now. It's some type of case. It might be for like school supplies. And then this looks like it's connected. Er so this is just a Sega bag. So it has Sega on it and then 
zippers that go all the way around. Oh, cool. So it opens like this. Is it, is it a, a wallet then? I feel like this is not a wallet. I feel like this is an electronics case or something. Because this zipper opens, it's just, it doesn't hold that much. Maybe it's got to be some type of electronics case. I've never seen this thing before. But I like that it has Sega on it like that. See it? Maybe? Kind of. And then there's another type of bag. Oh, wow. Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. It's clear, which is really neat. Made for... Made for the 90s is what it says. Flip it upside down. So this is completely, this has got to be just like a makeup bag or just some type of bag to hold whatever. It's, it must be new because it still has like this plastic part in it. So that's pretty cool. You could tell that this is most likely from the 90s as well. At least it, that's, you know, the style, the kind of style feel I'm getting from it. And then they just threw in one of the uh, McDonald's games, the Shadow and the Omega one from the Sonic Heroes McDonald's games. I loved, um, I had all of these when these Happy Meals came out. They were so cool. This is the hockey one, which I've got quite a few. I'll just set that with my other one. I got quite a few of those down there. And then there's a little, a little charm, which this is this is cute. I don't actually don't have this little charm. Little keychain charm guy. He's like his arms are crossed in a kind of in a kind of different way. Whoop! That was I got reflexes. It says Sega on his shoe. It doesn't say like a year or anything, but that's pretty. That's a little neat charm. I'll find a little spot for that. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, so we've got the the little Sonic toys from the um, kids' meals. So this is probably the only thing so far other than that Happy Meal toy that I already have. But that's cool. It's always cool to get more little extras. Put, oh, here we go. Here's my toys down here. Got my Carl's Jr. toys down there. I'm happy. All my Happy Meal toys. Okay. This is a pretty packed bag as well. There's a lot in here. Okay. Just... Whoever shipped me this, shout out if you're watching. You packed everything so nice. Bubble wrap. Oh my god. And I, as I just destroy all of it. Okay. That's fine. So we've got some some more keychains. So, oh, Glare City. Okay, Sonic keychain, which I actually don't have this one. I don't have pretty much everything in this whole box, which is really nice. It's like a metal a metal keychain, and then we got um, this Japanese silver um, rubber keychain for the, it looks like at the 20th anniversary for Sonic. And so that's really cool on the back. This must've been some type of prize maybe from an arcade on the back. Cause it says Sega prize on it. It says segaprize.com though. So maybe that's just a, a regular toy website. I'm honestly not sure, but that's cool. I honestly don't have a lot of silver items, so always looking to add some more. Then we got some random pencils. If anyone knows anything about these pencils, let me know because they just say Dr. Eggman on them. So that's kind of random, but cool. It's got to be, you know, something. It says Sega. It says HB on the end. So I'm not sure what collection these came from or where what they're supposed to go with but maybe we'll find out maybe there will be something else extra in here that will give it away okay so then i've got oh okay so i've got another rubber keychain from that same sega prize uh website this one's obviously sonic 
which I I feel like I have a rubber keychain that looks like that same that same pose, but I don't have this one. This one's pretty big. So that's another Japanese uh, keychain. And then it looks like we got one more. Oh, that's cool. It's an Amy Rose. So it's another um, from that same Sega Prize website. Just another character, Amy Rose. So that's awesome. All right, next item. Okay, these are cool. So this is a little pin set. All this plastic, there's so many glares. This is a little pin set and it has the um, the Sonic skateboard pose like from Adventure. And then Tails is just like chilling on a beach towel, it looks like. So that's cool, I've actually never seen these pins before. But this is newer, not like super new, but you could tell like the back packaging, it looks like it was at least released in the probably I would say mid like 2000s I'm not 100% to be honest though but um yeah these are really cool never seen those before next we got oh I'm scared I'm gonna this is like a bag okay this has really awesome artwork on it this is our like I already love this okay so yeah, this is like a bag, like the shopping bag. Sega Sonic. Sega Sonic the Hedgehog Sega. So this is just a plastic, like a grocery bag. But I wonder where this was used. Like if it was from an arcade, you'd win a prize and put your prizes in there. Like Joy Polis. Or if this was from the Sega headquarters. I'm actually, yeah, I'm not sure where this came from, but... That's pretty cool. Like, you don't see... And it says 91 on it. Like, you don't see many, you know, people who save plastic bags, you know? So, I really like the artwork on that one. Alright, so these look like some more plastic bags. Got two. So, let's unfold this is awesome this has got the classic this is just so cool i love this artwork i need to find a way to display these bags so this has got the classic sonic and tails sega sonic love how like colorful it is it's like the color is so bright it's hard to see there we go the color is just so bright and it just pops Again, like, I don't know where these bags came from. I'm going to have to try to find. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments or somewhere. Because these are just so cool. Tails got, like, a blue buckle on his shoe by his sock. He's got a long snout in this picture. He looks like Snoopy. Okay, so this one's the same bag, so I'm just going to leave it folded. Nice. I'm going to fold this one up later. And then, I don't know what this is. This looks like a Kleenex. This literally looks like an individually wrapped uh, Kleenex tissue. Featuring little Sonics with little poses. That's really cool. I really like this, this little pose of him chilling, like yawning. I don't know if you can... If it's focusing really if you could see it but that's my favorite right there little individually wrapped kleenex thank you thank you japan i will not be opening that all right let's see what's next we're nearing the end this is a long video I'm trying to speed it up guys i'm sorry okay oh my gosh there are so many things packed okay so this is like what is going on so, I thought this was like a little backpack, but it's a, it is a bag. Okay, I'm gonna stand up. So this is literally a bag, cause it's got a drawstring. It is ginormous. It's got some like pop art, Sonic pop art featured on it. That's really awesome. I wonder where this came from. Like, this lot that I bought just features so many 
like different items like not just toys like it has so many different items like i love that it's including bags and stuff like that that's just awesome i think this might be another bag so this yeah this is another bag it is not the same it is the same no it's not the same so I'll stand up again. This is another bag featuring um, some more artwork on it. It's from the 20th, um, Sonic's 20th anniversary. So that's another awesome bag. It looks really cool. I just want to know where, like who was giving away these bags? I've never seen these before. And then we got the, so this is opened, which is nice. I, I have one that's sealed, but it's cool. It's the, um, the party, the birthday party line, the um, C.A. Reed brand from, I believe, 91. Like, the birthday party, it's the tablecloth. So that's cool that I have one that's open now. And then also one that's sealed. So it's nice to see, you know, without the plastic. And it's still in great, like, amazing condition being open. So that's really cool that maybe, maybe I'll use this at my next birthday party, you guys. I mean, my birthday's in August. I always have some type of Sonic, you know, something, whether it be a birthday cake or plates or just something. There's always something Sonic at my birthdays. Okay, last item, last but not least. I'm trying to speed this up. This is another Sonic 20th anniversary. Uh, I cannot read Japanese but I can read the English part that says 20th anniversary. It's from that same Sega Prize website that those rubber keychains are from. But this, this has gotta be either, I mean, I don't really wanna open it. Well, it's already been opened once, okay. Okay, it's a beach towel. No need to sit here wondering what it is. It's a beach towel. I don't, okay. So it features that same artwork that was on the box. So it's a 20th anniversary beach towel. So that's pretty cool. I will not be using it. I already have a Sonic, maybe two Sonic beach towels that I use already that are from FYE. But this one, since it's, it came with the box and everything, I'll just let it, I'll just keep it in the box to display it. Okay, so sorry guys that took so long. I know like not everyone loves long videos, but there were so many items in that box. So, but, um, yep, that was my Japan rare, um, rare items from the nineties, mostly not all of them, but thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you know any information about most of these items, cause I've never seen most of these items. I'm really interested and going to do some research myself, but, um, Thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff that nobody cares about. <laughs> but um, I love meeting you guys. So just be sure to stick around for more videos. And thank you for watching.